Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll talk about how to make an air compressor quieter. If you own or rent home improvement devices like grinders, sanders, jackhammers, nail guns, and spray painters, then you're using some form of air compressor. These range in size from tiny pancake compressors to huge units that are going to be appropriately noisy. To power the devices they do, air compressors are by no means quiet. If you're lucky, your compressor might be 40 decibels. Bigger, heavier units can be more than 90 decibels. For your reference, most conversations you have are on average 55 to 65 decibels. So a 40 decibel air compressor is pretty darn quiet. Even a vacuum cleaner is anywhere from 60 to 85 decibels. Most lawnmowers are 90 decibels, while an airplane lifting off the ground and taking flight is about 140 decibels. Damage becomes a risk. Still, even the prolonged use of items that are between 80 and 90 decibels could eventually lead to hearing damage. It won't happen overnight, but if you run your air compressor often enough, you could lose your hearing early. Why are air compressors so loud? Well, it has to do with a couple of things. The first of these is the location. If your air compressor is in the same room as you, you're going to bear the full brunt of its volume. Even if it's in the same building, sometimes you still hear more of it than you wish you could. The further away your air compressor is from you, then the better. You also have to take the power source into consideration when it comes to the volume of the air compressor. If you have a gas powered compressor, it's going to make much more noise than an electric compressor would. That's due to all the hard work the gas powered compressor's engine has to do as it starts up and chugs along. Friction is another component of determining the compressor's noise level. Dynamic displacement air compressors, with all of their moving parts, have a lot more frictions. Positive displacement compressors, which tend to have fewer moving components, are less friction heavy. That would make them quieter than dynamic displacement compressors. Finally, the capacity and size of your air compressor make a difference if you want less noise. Low capacity inflators use a piston that moves very, very quickly that heats up the inside of the compressor just as rapidly. You'll certainly hear all of those parts as they move. All right, so now that all that is out of the way, how do we make your air compressor quieter? Well, the first thing you can do is wrap up your compressor motor. If you don't mind spending a little bit of money, there's a mat from Noiko Solution that is high rated. It uses foil and automotive butyl to cover 36 square feet. You get 9 sheets in one pack, so you should have enough to cover your entire air compressor motor. For less than $70, this isn't a bad solution to your noise problem and you can use the rest of the material to, maybe, soundproof your vehicle. Noiko also has a cheaper version of their sound deadening mat for less than $20. You only get 10 square feet of coverage, but 10 sheets in all. This is better for smaller motors. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. And also feel free to leave a comment, I would love to hear your feedback and also your questions that I would do my very best to answer. Thank you. Another option you can try is covering your air compressor intake with a muffler. A welded muffler are best for this job, such as the Thrush 17658 welded muffler. You can find this from Amazon. This is the highest rated muffler of its kind and it costs less than $50. It's 19 inches made of polished 304 stainless steel and has an outlet and inlet opening of 2.25 inches each. Okay, so now you've got your muffler. What do you do with it? First, you want to find your air compressor's intake. Plug in a two-sided air hose so one end is on your muffler and the other end is on your intake. The first hose should be connected to the other one. While it's somewhat of a complicated job, it's possible to slice four decibels off your air compressor noise levels, so it might be worth a try. Next is move the air intake. The air intake is a crucial part of the air compressor. This is where the air enters a unit. If you want, you can move the intake somewhere where its noise won't bother you nearly as much. Some air compressor owners have tried garden sheds, basements, or garages. 
The problem with the basement or the garage is that these rooms are still attached to your house. While the air compressor will be quieter than if it was in close proximity to you, you definitely still hear it down your basement or in your garage. That's why some people have opted to transport the intake outdoors. The wide openness of a backyard or side yard means the compressor makes less noise. It'd also be further away from your house so you'd hear even less of your air compressor. With a bracket and a rubber hose, you can do this job yourself. To start, take your rubber garden hose and place it in the air intake. Don't force it in there or you could break the intake. A bracket placed loosely yet firmly will keep the hose in place as the air compressor moves and works. The other end of your hose should be buried a few inches underground if possible. Grommets or brackets can be used to adhere this end of the hose exactly where you want it to be. The more secure the hose is, the less noise the whole setup should make. Next thing you can do and that works extremely well is box it up. Encapsulating your air compressor will of course make it sound quieter to you. When I say box it up, I mean it quite literally. You'd make a spare room outdoor in which to house your air compressor. By using soundproofing material on the walls, such as acoustic foam, you can ensure that you almost never hear the air compressor again. Going this route is going to be costly since you're erecting a small building from scratch. You'd also have to make sure the room is big enough for the compressor and has adequate ventilation. Otherwise, as the air compressor warms up, it'll overheat and fail, cause a fire or explode. Visit our website at soundproofguide.com and you'll find an article that is how to build a generator silent box, since that type of soundproof enclosure could be used to keep an air compressor quiet. Also, I've just made a video about this very thing, so make sure to visit our YouTube channel to find that video. Next method is put rubber grommets around the motor. If you want to cut back on the volume of noise from your air compressor, use rubber. Its sound absorbing qualities makes it efficient to quiet loud units. For this project, it's better to have grommets made of rubber. These should be fitted so they can go over the air compressor's motor. Rubber grommets are a basic tool and thus inexpensive. You can find a set of 180 pieces for less than $10 on Amazon. With such a big set, no matter the size of your engine, you can be sure you have a rubber grommet that fits. Your last option for silencing your air compressor is to replace your current loud clunky unit with a smaller, sleeker, quieter one. This is a good idea not only for your sanity, but for your hearing also. As you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that prolonged noise from an air compressor that's 80 or 90 decibels can cause hearing loss over time. Here are some of my personal favorite quieter air compressor picks. All of these compressors can be found on Amazon and I will leave a link to each of these compressors in the description below. The first one is California Air Tool 8010 Ultra Quiet Oil-Free Air Compressor. This 8-gallon air compressor from California Air Tools is, as it says, oil-free and quiet. It's made of steel and runs at 120 psi max. Its cubic feet per minute is between 2.2 at 90 psi and 3 at 40 psi. Since it doesn't use oil, you shouldn't have to do as much maintenance. This saves you money and time. It takes only 165 seconds for the tank to fill all the way. The air compressor's low amp draws contributes to its quieter operations. By the way, the sound rattling from the California Air Tools 8010 is around 60 decibels or less. Here's a small demonstration of a regular air compressor and a California Air Tools ultra quiet compressor. The next one is Senko PC1010 1 horsepower 1 gallon air compressor. Another very high rated pick from Senko, this air compressor is intended for crafting, hobbies, home improvement and renovation purposes. It has a capacity of 1 gallon and a low peak horsepower. It's a lot lighter than most air compressors, enough that it's considered portable. My final pick for quiet air compressors is the Makita Big Bore Air Compressor. While a little more expensive, you get tons of features that makes this unit worth owning. 
These include oil lubrication for less wear and tear, and a pump that keeps going longer at cooler temperatures. There's also less risk of motor failure from voltage drops as well as tripped breaker. This is all due to the big bore's low amp draw. With fewer revolutions per minute, you won't hear the big bore nearly as much as you would other air compressors. Its cast iron pump is built for durability also. The big bore operates at between 68 and 70 decibels. Air compressors are handy for home improvements and renovation tasks, but they can also be incredibly noisy. Not only are the loud noise annoying, but they can possibly damage your hearing if you use your air compressor often enough. By tinkering with the intake, wrapping the engine, or even enclosing your air compressor, you can cut down on the high level of noise these units make. Buying a new quieter air compressor might also be in the cards for you. Thank you very much for watching, and like I said before, consider subscribing to our channel if you like this type of content. And also, don't forget to visit our website at soundproofguide.com. Thank you.